Hello everybody, welcome on board to this Airbus simulator. Today, my first officer will be Dimitri, and we are just in a route flight from Zurich to Milan. And let's see what fun we will get today. No, it looks like we have some problems with engine number one. Confirm it's going to idle. And we lost it. We lost engine number one. And PFD is showing thrust reverses to MCT. Check. And can you check for us the green dot altitude? Yeah, we will in the process. At the same time, we are decelerating to the green dot speed, which is in this altitude 216 knots. So we can set also that one. Okay, our green dot altitude will be flight level 250. Setting 250. 250 set and pull. When the thrust levers are in MCT, we are actually just controlling the descent by using elevator. I have a control, so I will do a call. Baltic 320, pan 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 pan. We have an engine failure descending to flight level 250. Baltic 320, clear to descend to flight level 250. Clear to descent, flight level 250, Baltic 320. And continue ECAM actions. Okay, engine mod selector, ignition. Set. Check. Uh, thrust lever 1, to idle. Confirm. Confirm. To idle. Idle set. Engine master 1, off. Confirm. Engine master 1, off, set. Uh, we did not hear any damage no, or any sound, damage. so if no damage. Then relight procedure. Can you check from the QRH? Yeah, relight right, procedures. Okay, maximum altitude we already checked. Engine master off. Check. Checked. Thrust lever to idle. Check. Engine mode. Selector, ignition, check, X bleed, on, check on, wing anti ice, off, off, check, engine master, on, engine number one master, confirm, on, and timing, timing 30 seconds. Engine light up should be achieved within uh, 30 seconds after fuel flow increases. So now we're waiting 30 seconds. There is two possibilities to do this descent by using standard 300 knots, but because we are over Alps, our we have uh, some obstacles we need to do with the green dot speed, which is in this case 216 knots. Okay, Captain, 30 seconds is gone, so if no relight, no relight, uh, we should switch off engine master. And Number engine one. master one confirmed. It's off. Continue ECAM actions. ECAM actions. Uh, we have no damage. Engine one, no relay. Engine one, no relay. Yeah, no relay. Cancelling. We have a uh, air bleed because we don't have engine number one, so no bleed. Check. And then we have an uh, electric failure also because we don't have a generator in number one engine. Both cleared. And clear. And we will check fuel also. We have no leakage in the tank, so we can keep the crossfit open. 
and then it's land as soon as possible. Now we will descend to our flight level 250 which is a green dot altitude and after that we should descend more to the long range cruise altitude. Can you check from the QRH our long range cruise? We can also check estimating long range cruise by pressing performance page. And, sorry, progress page and we have a long range cruise altitude flight level 218 is maximum yeah, sure. so we will select flight One level eight. 210 so we are cleared our obstacles we can descend to flight level 210 and we can go back to the normal condition auto thrust on Trust will go to the idle because we are still descending. Yeah, and just now we start to descend. And we will do an APU relight also to get some additional power. APU is left. We are approaching 3000 feet and Activating approach phase, and confirming, approach phase is activated. Flaps one. Speed check. Flaps one. go to the heading mode because we have a discontinuity in our flight plan. Oh. Heading mode selected and heading 350. We can clear all the faults, all the faults are just because of our range number one is off. You can already see a flight slope. And we will select heading 080. Zero eight zero sure. set. And I will select heading one two zero. One two one two zero set. Check. Sure. I'm gonna descend to one thousand five hundred. We are a little bit too high. Localizer lock. Selecting heading 180. Here, run inside. Flaps 2. Speed check. And heading 190. Flaps 2. Check. Quite tight too. Yes. Flaps 3. Speed check. Flaps 3. Gear down. Gears down. Clear.
Why negative flat stroke? We have one engine out. Correct. Flat three configuration. Final approach speed will be 131. One, one. Runway inside. Before landing checklist. Before landing checklist. Cabin crew advised after throttle. 2000. Uh, after brakes. Oh. Check. Ecom memo. No blue. Spoilers. Arm. Spoilers out. No blue. This moment Airbus is the best because we have an automatic trim. Five hundred. Autopilot off. Four hundred. Hundred above. Approaching minimum. Minimum. Landing. Just before landing, I have to reset. Rather than trim. And resetting rather trim. 50, 40, 30, 20. Retard, retard. 10, 5. Reverse are on. Reverse green. Eighty knots. Manual brake. Shops. AP1. Stop. Welcome to Milan. Okay, we finished our flight here on Milan. Uh, safely land with Captain Tommy. During the flight we had problem with engine number one flame out and we're supposed to descend because the aircraft can cruise with only one engine and we did it so after that we make a normal approach to the runway 17 left and here we are that's all for today thank you for watching see you later